Among those here to congratulate him, Chris Ace, who we'll talk to in just a minute. Four different tracks now. What a team this has become. Uh, definitely. We got a, you know, a great crew, great sponsors, a uh, great car. Um, I couldn't ask for a better car. It was perfect. I knew it wasn't going to take long until it started rubbering up on the bottom. And, you know, we, we tightened the race car up a little bit and hoped that it'd go through the middle for the first couple laps, and, and it did. I got nervous for a little bit. Um, the 23 car was running a great race, and uh, it's making it hard for me to pass him. I got I went through the middle a couple times, and uh, I was actually starting to think, you know, we, we're not going to get him. We're going to run second. But, um... I, I tried keeping it down a little bit further and let it go through the middle, and the, you know the car would grab and go 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 right through the middle. So it was great. Well, Billy Pouts Jr. is going to be a great race car driver. He's already proven it in the modifieds. He's going to prove it in the sprint cars too. But you had Jeff Warball and a whole bunch of others right there as well. As you said, the race winning move probably came very early in the race, but uh, you advanced quickly through the field. Uh, yeah, that's one thing, you know, we, we've been going to Sealand's Grove a lot to hope that we can run on a, a two-groove track, and, um, it, you know, it kind of sucks because I, I, Lincoln's only five minutes away from my house. It's a home track, and I love this track. Just running, you know, it's a great 410 track. Just running after the 410s, it's a, it doesn't take long, and it's a, a one-groove racetrack. But uh, hopefully we can come back with, a, you know, the big wing or, a, and be able to run with two grooves because I, I love running here. Well, we love seeing you run here. Uh, you have a... Uh, Track championship here. I know the last time you were in victory lane here was your first career win. Now this is something you could get used to. Uh, definitely. Hopefully we keep this uh, streak up. Uh, we got a great car and a lot of people helping us out. I got a lot of people to thank. Uh, Beeling Homes, Donat Racing Engines, Rich Fogel General Contracting, uh, Sternal Rental Properties, Advanced to Bearing and Finishing, uh, Newman Shell, Penske Shocks, Brickage French Fries, uh, CNB Mushroom Farms, um, and, and anybody else that I missed. <laughs> and there's a bunch of them. Of course, we have race winner decals from you for, for you from Lincoln Speedway and, of course, the Central PA Point Series. You are leading the Central PA Point Series. This certainly didn't hurt that. Boy, that would be a big championship to take. Uh, well, there's a lot of good guys that race 358s. You know, definitely capable of racing 410 sprint cars. And, you know, to say that we're on top means a lot. 12 winners and 12 races here. That's competition. It is, but at the same time, it also means that it's a one-group racetrack, so... Yep. Well, we're glad to see you in victory lane. We wish you luck as the season continues. Hope to see you back real often. All right. Thank you. Let's hear it for your winner here tonight, Logan Shuhard. <laughs>